Hey everybody, I am at the 2021 edition of the Street Rod Nationals. 10,000 custom cars, street rods, you name it, they are here. And I got the final day. Didn't think I was going to make it, but I got here. It's at the Kentucky Fair and Expo Center, and basically it's just row upon row of what makes dreams come true. Those of you who love custom cars and hot rods. How can you not come to some place like this and just fall in love over and over and over? Oh, look at that 57. A lot of car dreams are made of something like this. Look at that, look at that. Wow. Two is fantastic, two. Cool. Nice and whole works. This is a car that over history has had a bad rap. The fair lane. Looked a little spacey, I guess. But man, this thing can fly. I like it. So it's been a while since I've been here. It's about time, I think. <laughs> I just can't afford to come too often, especially without my wife. This is something you don't see very often. A Crosley. Look at this. See the little propeller? These guys used to make like turntables. And at one time, made itsy bitsy cars. But they got a definite cool look to them, though. Every time I go to a car show, I've always got to ask, where are the GTOs and the Kudas? you got to find a GTO and a Kuda. Hope I find one. No, I don't want to find one because I'm afraid I want to buy it. Then I would be in trouble. This show has been going on for 52 years. This is the 27th year in Louisville. It's at the Fair and Expo Center. Fair and Expo Center is one huge place, lots of concerts, and today, that's a really, really cool car. This is what I run into when I go to a car show. Plenty of things like Chevelles and Mustangs. And look, it's even a Shelby. But where are the GTOs, man? You know, what's really fun is like these Oldsmobiles. They look so tame. You come upon them and you go, hey, man. What a drag. And these guys would blow a lot of people away because a lot of these cars were equipped with a 442. Remember that 442? Yeah, that thing was a rocket. No, that was a 455, sorry. At the Street Route Nationals, you see cars and vans and trucks in every, what's the word, uh, era of their regeneration. I'm not sure what the word is. It's just, it's not coming to me. We got restored mods like this. Some people just bring their daily drivers. Maybe they'd squatter them down like this pickup truck, but again, it goes back to the different stages of restoration. That's what I was trying to go for, the different stages of restoration. This would not have been popular back in the day. Station wagon. And anything that was four door back then was kind of a, eh. By the way, a hot rod is anything that was produced by a car company before 1949. If you saw the last off-ramp adventures of the cruising with the Heartland, you know this is more or less my jam right here. But I would really love something like that. From what I understand from my brother-in-law and other people who have custom cars, if you want one, they're for sale. <laughs> See, that's my problem. They're all for sale. Okay, I'm getting closer to my jam, my classic car jam. GTO, this is the Firebird 1969 edition convertible. Look at that, that is one just beautiful car. Today's the last day of the Street Rod Nationals. I'm getting in on the tail end of it. A lot of the cars are, have already gone, but you're talking about 10,000 vehicles. <laughs> There's still a lot left to check out. We're about to check out some more, hang on. Like this one. Look at this page up, this is so cool. What is that, about a 66? Wow. And guess what, guys? Guess what? Guys and ladies, it's for sale. <laughs> Hang on, I think I found something different to look at. Besides Chevelles and Camaros. Can you say Studebaker? I bet you can. Look at this. 1964. Look at the sign there, Vince. You just opened up. That pretty much was your air conditioning back then. Classic styling. Look at that girl. Look at that girl. This is one of those vehicles I was talking about in a lesser state of restoration. It's called a rat rod. 
still awesome. Even without paint, it looks good. I've just found the car that's going to make this whole trip worthwhile. Check this out. You want a Corvette? <laughs> Here's your Corvette. Look at this. Air horns. I don't know if those are real coming through the hood, but this guy is. Check this out. This is the door handle. That's how you lock it. Of course, it's woody on top of everything else. With the Buick holes. And it's got the white Tawala tires, too. Okay, this is kind of a Frankenstein thing. But man, it is so cool. Look at this. You got tachometers there. Amps. Well, I don't know what the flashlight's for. Maybe it's for looking at it at night. I don't know. But I love the duct tape accents, don't you? And look at this steering wheel. This is one of those kind of cars I would just love to go down the line. Especially to the beach, Ma, because they got ports, you know what I mean? Oh, wait, wait. I almost missed them. I got skis, too. And skates from like the 1950s, 60s. Now, those things used to go on your shoes. And that's back before they had skates with shoes already on them. You just nailed your feet. No, you didn't. They, they fit around your shoes. This car is known as the Hawaiian Hillbilly. What year is it, guys? If you know what year this Corvette is, put it down in the comments. Did you see, did you see the running boards? <laughs> it's a picket fence piece. And you'll never run short of water. You know, you got a place to open your brew. And, uh, you know, the toilet paper thing, too. You go fishing, this car is ready. That's why they call it the Hawaiian Hibbley, I guess. Oh, and it's a taxi. You know, two-seat taxi. Room enough for you and all your friends. <laughs> no, that's, 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 that's my friends. What? Do my eyes deceive me? Do my eyes deceive me? No, it's a Cuda. 440, this is the one that is my wife's jam. No, it's this car. This is a 1970. See, what was funny is at one time, it was Barracuda, right? But now it's just Cuda, because that was cool. So it's kind of like a Louisville, how they call it the Ville. Much more hip than happening to say, what's happening at the Ville? Today it's stuff like this that's happening. And I am in love. Now you know this is going to get a nice coat of paint, but right now, we're down to the primer. Man, talk about low and slow. I've got to say, we've had some cool days in Kentucky. Low humidity. It was in the 80s, but it's low humidity. Today, humidity is back. With a vengeance. Wow. But I'm going to make this fun. Stick around with me, guys. Stick around. This can't be a kid car, can it? Please don't tell me it's a kid car. Look at that. Look at that. Is that a Rolls Royce, really? Wow. Wow. Duh, it's a Packard. When's the last time you saw a Packard and why did they go away? And this one's got the white Tawala tires. Look at that boot on there. How cool is that? I'm just gonna call this one Dreamsicle. Look at that. Oh, no, and slow. Stitched. See, it's fine. I'm falling in love. Look at that wood. Somebody just fired something up. Sounds like a massive tree chopper. Can you hear it? Listen to that. Look at that. Oh, man. People trailer their cars in or drive them in, but a lot of people take it one step further. They, they don't have time or they don't have the ability, don't have the manpower, so they hire guys like this. They'll drive your cars for you. So if you ever get bogged down with a great expensive plastic car, and you don't want to buy a trailer, hey, you, know you can come to the Street Rod Nationals in style. I think it's an obligation when you come to the Street Rod Nationals, you've got to get a Rambler on, oh wait, this isn't your ordinary Rambler, 
Look at that. Side pipes. Could they have could they have put the bigger engine into it? I'm thinking it looks like a Sunday driver, right? Like you're gonna go to church, then somebody comes up, and wham! Tail pipe. So remember, don't judge a car by its cover. If this is your first time taking the off-ramp to adventure, we specialize in taking you to fun, inexpensive roadside attractions, historic sites. We're gonna give you some information, fun facts, but we're gonna do it our way. Hopefully, you don't mind our way. I found out a lot of the fun coming to the Street Rod Nationals is just watching the people cruise by in their cars. Like this guy. I think someone that's nice to driving this car is driving this car. They're going very slow. That is just awesome. Awesome. I've also got to admit with Kentucky Kingdom being right next door, getting distracted by a lot of the, the rides too. Thinking about, wow, how fun would that be? Whoa, there it goes. I'm waiting for this one again. You know that ride, it's the one that takes you up way up high then drops you like you don't want nothing to do with you, like your ex-girlfriend. <laughs> okay, it's evidently gonna be a while before that ride's ready again. I saw this. Look, look at how big the windows are. No trouble with air conditioning with this one. Look how far the seat goes back. Man! Got a hearse shifter. Look at this. Double deuce. Yeah. I could see me in this. I really wanted to show you that ride, but it's a little, little hot. I don't think I want to stand around the heat waiting for a ride you've probably seen 50 million times. Okay, spoke too soon. Ride's back. We can catch this. We can catch this. Here we go. All right. Watch crossing the street. Don't want to get hit by one of those classic cars. Here we go. Here we go. We're going to drop them any minute. Any minute. They'll go screaming like they're going to be into it. Why is it going so slow? Mm. Okay. It's a bust. Never mind. I think I just found the vehicle I want for the weekend. This one. Up in the high country. Yeah, I know. For me, according to my wife, this would be a little ridiculous. Yeah, Vanessa likes trucks, but she's got her limits. Oh, the sound of power. Okay, guys. I could go on doing this for hours. But I think you've seen the biggest part of the 2021 Nationals. Did not get the t-shirt this year, but I did get it in 2002, see, so I'm okay. Thank you for joining me for this little adventure. If you don't want to subscribe right now, again, like I said, if you wouldn't mind at least give us a thumbs up. We'd love you to just subscribe, but we're not gonna push it. And don't forget, Click the notification bell if you do subscribe so you know when we make a new video. And above all else, remember, adventure is as close as the next offer. show you this we got a dragster with this oh, oh man he just got to wipe the wall of tires <laughs> can you see cruising to the track in this I bet you can I thought that was leaving I know it can't get away just look at this got the classic car with the classic trailer oh man we got a chopper, rad rod, and rad pink. It doesn't even look like it would run. Look at rats. Rad rod. $150 or best offer? Well, they can't mean that's how much they want for the truck. But then again, it does.
does need some work even as a rat rod. But wait, we can go trolling with it. Okay, I'm sold. Okay, I'm on overload. I'm really going this time. I promise. More adventures to come. Stay tuned.